You've got me wrong. It's your choice. It's your life. You live the way you wanna. Uh oh. Awkward. I think it isn't cool. I think I'm gonna ruin my reputation. To my family members that are watching, please don't watch. It doesn't look clean. <gasps> this may be the last time I make a video with two graphics. Sorry, that's who I am. I may have made a fool of myself. It is what it is. Hi guys. So guys, I'm keeping this facial hair on today because you guys in the poll that I had on Instagram said that keep it, keep my facial hair. So I listened to you guys and I said, okay, this, is, this may be the last time I make a video with my facial hair. So enjoy throughout the video guys while I answer my weird questions that you guys have asked. I'm gonna answer your questions now. Let's see how weird they are. I've taken screenshots of some weird ones. A lot of questions were like, what is your age? <laughs> when did you come out? What do you prefer? And I'm like, these are not weird questions. These are general questions. So I selectively selected some weird ones. Some were a little too weird, <laughs> a little too sexual, which I can't put because a lot of families watch this and including mine. So that ain't happening, but let's get going. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm laughing at this. Ooh, this is by Uprav. Uprav says, what do you look for in a guy? Um, definitely not you. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, I don't know what I look for. I'm a very confused person. Someone who can make me laugh. Not someone who's trying too hard to make me laugh, but someone who can make me laugh. Someone with a cute smile and someone who is a genuine person with good values. Boring answer, but yeah. <laughs> Are you a virgin? What do you think? What do you think? I'm 26 years old. If you think I'm still a virgin, you've got me wrong. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into the details of how I lost my virginity. For those who are my age or above and haven't lost their virginity, that's completely okay because it's your choice, it's your life. You live the way you wanna. So the next question is, weirdest place you have urinated or defecated? I think it's obvious. The swimming pool, growing up, we've all peed there. Have you ever dressed as an opposite sex? So I don't think this is a weird question, but I wanted to address this. So, uh, you know, growing up, I didn't dress up, but I wore some accessories. Like I used to carry a bag, my sister's bag, my mom's bag and roam around. Growing up, I used to dance with a chunni on because it was more fun, yeah, for guys to dance in a guy in an actor's dance steps it's like you're wearing nothing women had like accessories and like the chunni was so fascinating i've worn dupattas and i've worn bags while growing up but not now that i've grown up i think um my preferences i mean i do enjoy wearing menswear and i've never felt the need or want to wear the opposite sex for Luga. I'm gender fluid in terms of like some sweatshirts and pants that are for women which look good on me but dresses and all i haven't worn so yes, so a beautiful girl, you just want to boom boom her, but realize that you are gay. Ever happen? Um, I've seen many beautiful girls and I've been like, oh, beautiful. I'm like, wow. And I'm obsessed with their beauty, but it's always been in a godly way. You know what I mean? Like in a sisterly way, in a worship way, but never in a sexual way. Even be it Sunny Leone, who is so gorgeous and hot. I think even her, I've never fantasized her in any other way. <laughs> uh, no. In fact, there have been times when I've seen my friends naked and I'm just like, uh-oh, awkward. I wouldn't have said the same if it was a guy. You are so, 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 so critical about your looks. Why or oh why? It really pains me. <laughs> Thanks though. That's really sweet of you. But yeah. I have a lot of self-love issues and uh, I'm working on it and yes, I'm very critical about myself. My friends are sick and tired of me, uh, but I'm working on it. I think I'm beautiful, very beautiful. I have my bad angles, I have my good angles. So focus on the good angles, right? Like this. I look so good. This is my side. But this angle. <gasps> Horrible. I don't like it. It may be looking good now, but mm -mm -mm, not my side. I just don't like showing this side. 
weirdest food you have eaten till now? Mm. Oh, when I was in Thailand, I had crickets, I had a scorpion, and I had maggots. Okay, the crickets and scorpion was okay. It was crunchy and yummy. It's just that after eating cricket, you know, I was cutting my teeth and a leg of the cricket came and I was like, Ew! But maggots, guys, don't have it. It's filled with protein, but when you bite into it, it's like just tasteless, creamy, white stuff. And you don't want it to taste like nothing. You want it to taste yummy or nothing or nothing else. You just want it to taste yummy, right? So. That maggot tasted so bad, I threw it in the pot and that whole pot had turned milky white. I was like, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. What would be that one secret conspiracy you would like to start? Um, the one secret conspiracy I would like to start would be Parakram is... It's about me. <laughs> that Parakram is secretly dating... Who am I obsessed with? Lil Nas. That would be fun. I would love everyone to believe that. I would want it to happen though. So if someone proposes to you and that is a fan of yours, then what will your reply be? Well, that would be a fun fantasy for you and me. <laughs> Don't you think? Like, hmm. But no, I guess it doesn't matter if someone's a fan or not. Uh, if someone proposes to me randomly, I'll be like, uh, weird anyone but if it's a fan who likes me and i like them back it's totally doable like how does it matter if you're a fan or not you need to be my type and if you're my type then doesn't matter but it would be fun i think it would be fun for the fan and it would be fun for me <laughs> okay next for how many minutes do you poop <laughs> okay sorry I keep dropping my phone. I poop for one minute or two minutes, not more. I'm a quick pooper. I poop, I wash, and I get out. I'm very impatient, and I poop it all out at once, and it's done. <laughs> I can't believe everyone knows my pooping style. Okay, next. What's the most embarrassing thing in your room? Well, well, I made a TikTok video. I'm gonna put that TikTok video here. Um, so three, two, because the thing that was weird in my room, I've removed it all because after making that TikTok video, I realized why do I have this thing in my room? So I'm putting the TikTok video here. Starting with my study table, why do I have this lizard in my rack? It's been here for more than 10 years. There. So yeah, uh, the lizard, I don't know why I had that lizard there. It has been two, three times where I have literally opened, uh, you know, this and seen the lizard and freaked out, okay? I'm like, ah! I'm like, shit! Uh, I'm like, oh my god, why do I do this? Why do I do this to myself, Parakram? I'm like, throw it! And I'm like, no, 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 why to throw, why to throw? Just kept it back, it scared me two, three times, and then after the TikTok video, I just kept it aside. So it's not here anymore. Okay. Brushing your teeth or wiping your butt? You have to give one up. What would you do and why? <gasps> That's a tough one. I think I would give up wiping my butt because I don't want to explain what my poop is like but it can suffice with tissue paper and say I'm not allowed to wipe myself, wipe my butt with tissue paper. I will have a bath after pooping so again another poop talk but I'd rather brush my teeth and people don't see my teeth dirty and bad breath when I speak to someone that would be a nightmare. I think I'm gonna ruin my reputation doing this video, but let's bring it on. What do we what do we have to lose? To my family members that are watching, please don't watch. <laughs> Momo with mayonnaise, nah! No. Momo with nothing else but Momo ka chutney. Like, it is so important. Momo is not Momo without its amazing chutney and the chutney has to be good because if, it, if it's bad, any good Momo won't taste good. No, Momo with mayo is an absolute pew. What's the worst thing you've ever done when you were a kid? Many things. <laughs> I think people are the worst when they're kids. They do the naughtiest of things, the cruelest of things and they can get away with it. 
I think, let me tell you one, I tried to plot a murder of a friend when I was a kid. Obviously it was very dramatic and it wasn't ever going to happen but like watching, a, I don't know, I watched a movie where someone was doing that and I was like even I'm going to do it. <laughs> I think that was weird now that I think of it. What did you used to wear that you thought was cool but now you realize it isn't? A facial beard that I have right now and I'm wearing it because you guys on my Instagram story said that please have it on but this is what I used to wear my facial beard um, my facial hair and I think it isn't cool because because I understand why people want me to have it actually I don't but I have patchy beard a patchy hair growth and it doesn't look clean if I had a full beard, full facial hair, thick, I would have had it. But since I don't, no, I can't. Doesn't doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. I don't think it makes sense. Um, yes, in Nepal, so many people love it because all of us Nepali people, Amiruko, uh, hair is like patchy. So yeah, everyone's used to it. But I've grown up in India where everyone has a thick beard, and I get a complex seeing everyone with a thick beard. I'm like, ah. Why am I like bald here? It's like I'm bald. So no, no, no. I don't like it. Ew. No. Mm. Clean shaven look for me is my go-to. Would you rather be left naked at work for two hours or left naked two miles away from home? Lots of love. Uh, two hours away from home means you have to walk and heaps of people would see you. Ooh, never. Um, I don't mind being left naked at work for two hours. I guess the co-workers who are there will laugh it off and they'll get entertained and I can sit in my office and I don't have to stand and put up a show. But if you're like standing up, if you're like two miles away, you're like... and your butt will still show, so... <laughs> two hours at work. Why is it that sometimes your hair makes you look like a mushroom? <laughs> Well, my hair's poker straight and thick, so when I grow, when my hair is grown up, like, oh, sorry, when I had long hair, till about 15, 16, 17, till I was in boarding school, even at home in Nepal, my haircuts would always be like a mushroom cut. These are some of the pictures. One thing that turns you on in your partner. Let me think of something that I can say. <laughs> Mm, one thing that turns me on in, a, in my partner is a good bum, yeah? A nice juicy butt. That is something that turns me on. I find attractive. Story time of a fling that felt like a movie. My first few loves. It was all in boarding school. It was so romantic. It was so cute. It was so filmy. Wow, when I listen to those songs, I think of those days. Boarding school, being in a boys boarding school was a blessing in disguise, I have to say. Would you ever get a human blood facial? Because I know Kim K did, of course, but my own blood. I would take the blood out of my system and poke it in my face if it had to make me look better. <laughs> if it had to make my skin look better. So yeah. Too graphic, sorry, that's who I am. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, yeah man. Um, okay, these were all for now. I think that was quite PG-13. I may have made a fool of myself. But it is what it is. So I hope that Pehrujole your video hiri ratsa. You guys don't disown me and you guys keep loving me. This is a naughtier side to me. I'm not all that sweet. <laughs> so yeah, I'm feeling shy. I'm just thinking about what the repercussions are after I post this video, what it's gonna be like, the reactions, what my family members are gonna tell me, what they're gonna message, they're gonna be like, chat, you ki gare So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, comment, 
what you liked, what you want me to shoot next. Um, share, if not share, subscribe and press the notification bell icon because that really helps you guys to stay up to date with my videos. Um, my Instagram page is here. I think my Instagram page here or there, whatever. Um, I'm very active on my Instagram. Like this poll that I, all these weird questions were asked on Instagram and you guys asked me those questions. So stay tuned and keep supporting and don't forget to follow my Instagram because Mozailipani I can post story updates there. Am I speaking too fast? I speak really fast. Yeah, people do tell me not to speak too fast. Um, yeah.